Hello. I thought I'd give a quick tour of the spiders I found around Brighton School during this lockdown. You're going to follow along my normal walking route and run through the spiders I found in each of the different habitats. This is where we start. Just outside the front gate is a patch of aloes with a beautiful tropical tentweb spider in the center. While photographing that, I spotted this cute jumping spider peeking out at me, but more on jumping spiders in the next video. From here, the path enters some Brachystesia woodland. The leaf litter is home to some beautiful salties, but also hosts lynx spiders like this gorgeous one, and hundreds of wolf spiders and tropical wolf spiders that you don't see much during the day. I go out at night with a torch and the ground is covered with tiny dots of light reflected by their eyes. Here's a beautiful big catenid on the edge of our lawn. The woodland transitions to more dense lantana thickets along the southern end of the property. There are some humongous nursery web spiders here in the genus Rothus. Their webs are usually extended up from a hole in the ground, and when disturbed they shoot back into their lair at high speed, which has given me a fright more than once. Right at the edge of this patch of forest is a really cool master of disguise, one of the Mi Miagromote spiders, excuse my pronunciation, in the family Uloboridae. They hang on a single line of silk, and it looks like a twig until it decides to move, revealing its true nature. Moving on, the path widens into a seldom used road, spotted with the funnel-shaped webs of the funnel weaver family, Agelenidae. They're normally very shy and hard to photograph, but I did get a decent look at one whose web was on the edge of a large hole. From here, we have two choices. Continue along the path below the eucalyptus trees and on around the perimeter, or fork right to, to the baboon spiders by the tennis courts. Let's go around first and save the baboon spiders for last. The leaf litter along the edge of the field is filled with more saltacids and lynx spiders. Both tend to jump away to the far side of the fence if I ever try to photograph them, which is a pain. Fortunately, the fence itself also hosts some more sedentary species, especially if you walk along it in the early morning or late evening. This is Cyclosa insulana, one of the so-called trash line orb weavers, cleverly disguised among their debris in her web. We also have various hairy field spiders and this beautiful Kalima descens, which is one of the grass orb web spiders, um, using the fence as their home. The forest at the northern end of the property is quite different from that near our house, with more open grass between the trees. Green pea spiders spin their webs next to the path of an evening, and walking off track is a good way to end up tangled in the web of a black-legged golden orb weaver or one of these adorable bark spiders. This is the only place I've found any brown buttons. For some reason, the buildings of the school are dominated by false buttons. Probably for the best, considering that this is a junior school, but these beautiful spiders are super shy and unlikely to bite. Some other nifty finds from this patch of woodland include some long spinned tree bark spiders. This one spotted by my dearest mother. Happy Mother's Day, by the way. <laughs> Along with this beautiful Zodara Day on the forest floor. Okay, we're on the home stretch. As we head for the baboon spider alley, Let's, wait, let's make one last stop at the home of an imposter who also lives in a burrow very similar to a baboon spider burrow. This is a burrowing lycosid, and wow is it beautiful. Okay, let's talk about baboon spiders. There are scattered burrows all over the property, but here in a disused patch of ground next to the rugby fields is a crazy dense collection of something like a thousand burrows. They're pretty much all the one species. Ceratogyrus dolichocephalus. <laughs> I think I got that right. Twiddling a piece of grass in a burrow can tempt them out into the open for a photo shoot. Beautiful spiders. Elsewhere on the property, we also have these beauties. Ceratogyrus sanderi, the Namib horned baboon spider. We've had a few males wander into our house looking for love. Sadly, they probably didn't understand my directions to the nearest female, and just walked off dejected when we took them back outside. Okay, that's it for this video. I'm going to try to make at least two more. One focused on jumping spiders, and the other staying closer to home featuring the lovely spiders of our house and garden. I'd like to end with a huge thank you to the folks who've been so generous with their knowledge, suggesting identifications on the Spider Club Facebook groups or in the WhatsApp groups, helping me with resources, and suggesting places to learn more. It's incredible to be welcomed by this community, and so much fun to learn about these amazing creatures. Okay, goodbye, and stay safe. Oh, and do let me know if there's any spiders I got wrong. Cheers.